Good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be at. I'm going to discuss the three things that I suggest you do in Nairobi, Kenya. Are there 10 other things that you can do? Probably, but I'm going to go over the top three things to do in Nairobi, Kenya. Number one, eating local food, eating exotic food, eating food that they are not serving in your country, whether you're in the U.S., Canada, uh, or any of these other countries. Nine times out of ten, they are not serving these. <laughs> nine times out of ten um so eat the local food but not just local food exotic food um the carnival restaurant it was and it should be and it is one of the top restaurants in new Orleans, kenya um i have had crocodile before but they have crocodile here um i had crocodile in uh louisiana uh they have ostrich i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing it right but they have ostrich. How many of y'all have ever had ostrich? <laughs> they have lamb. Um, they have the common stuff, sausages, gizzards, uh, whatever the case may be. Um, they have various different kinds of exotic meats that you may or may not uh, come in contact with uh, in your home country. So I personally suggest going there, uh, enjoying the festivities, and making memorables, making memorable memories uh, that will last you a lifetime. All right, the second thing uh, that I suggest you do in Nairobi, Kenya, is visit the zoos, all right? I have never touched leopards and various different uh, quote unquote dangerous animals in real life before. In some of these zoos, you can do that. In some of these zoos, you can get up close and personal with these animals. Um, so I personally suggest that. I like that. You're going to have experiences that not every individual is going to have the opportunity to experience with these zoos. All right. The third thing that I suggest that someone do uh, in Nairobi, Kenya, is go on a safari. If you go to TripAdvisor or some of these other sites, you can probably find 20, 30 different safari companies or individuals hosting safaris. When I went on my safari, I probably seen eight to ten different safari trucks driving around. So, uh, one, it is a thing that a lot of people like to do. And I am sure it's very profitable for those that are doing and uh, giving these services. On these safaris, you're going to be able to get up close and personal uh, with various animals. I was in maybe 10 feet uh, from lions. Like literally, I could have threw a rock and, and hit a lion in the head. You know, I could have flick the quarter and hit a line between his eyes like you're getting up close and personal with animals um i made a video that i can't seem to find right now but uh you're getting up close and personal with very dangerous animals and that thrill and excitement um on these safaris is going to be something that you are never going to forget so the top three things that i suggest that you do while in Kenya, specifically Nairobi, in no particular order, is visit the carnival restaurant, visit the zoos, and last but not least, go on the spot. I know we out here, Kenyan streets. Right, till next time. Solo, as ever. Everywhere I go, I'm solo. Kenyan streets. About to go grab some water. <laughs> one for me, one for the taxi. Let's see what we have. Be right back.
you subscribe, you like.